Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mr. Faisal Abbas, the editor-in-chief of uh, Arab News. Mr. Baka Atiyani, who is uh, apparently not only just the local uh, head, but the source of all that we see today here, this evening. We're delighted by the Honorable Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates, who's here. Um, and uh, I've recently made a discovery that if uh, ambassadors are getting so young, I must be getting very old. Um, to which uh, the Honorable Editor-in-Chief just told me, he said, if you want to get old, you should become editor of a newspaper. And then you get old really soon and you get white hair uh, immediately. Uh, but I'm, I'm just delighted that Arab News has decided to launch a Pakistan edition. Ladies and gentlemen, I just see this as another uh, very welcome sign of uh, what could be re-termed a rebirth of Pakistan in the last few years. Uh, it's the rebirth of our freedom uh, as a nation that deserves to live in peace. Uh, and this terrible ordeal of uh, violent extremism uh, that we faced a few years ago, um, and in fact there was a double jeopardy because this violent extremism was coupled with crippling energy shortages, uh, which practically brought Pakistan to a halt, a bloody and dark halt. Um, many of you will remember uh, that uh, many advanced industrialized countries had issued some very, another crippling uh, travel advisories of not sending their citizens to Pakistan. And, many foreign airlines had stopped flying to Pakistan and we were being slowly, it seemed, cut off from the rest of the world. Um, so I see the launch of the Pakistan edition of Arab News as a sign, a portent of a more connected, peaceful, normal Pakistan um, that is slowly coming into shape for all the hiccups, political and non-political, that we continue to experience every day. Uh, but I think that it has been a re-emergence of Pakistan, a rebirth of Pakistan uh, as a country uh, after a dark period, uh, for which the people of Pakistan uh, have to be given the principal credit uh, for their tremendous and, to my mind, mind-boggling resilience uh, in the face of such odds, uh, to, to carry on, um, to take just example, which is of course very fresh in all of our minds, uh, after seeing the 142 uh, students murdered at uh, Army Public School in Peshawar back in December 2014, um, that is only one of the incidents uh, that um, brought home to us uh, the, the challenge that we faced. Uh, I'll just conclude by saying uh, that in my current responsibility as Minister for Defense, um, I had the opportunity two days ago to visit uh, uh, some of the soldiers that were wounded in the Sawat suicide bombing um, over the weekend. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I, while I was there, I was imagining that this had been happening for at least 12 years because we had soldiers, human beings, um, in not only in tremendous pain, but their bodies were shattered. Um, their bodies had been blown open uh, by that explosion. Uh, and to see those young men, and they were all young men, um, none of them even say, say crying in pain. They were very stoic, very gallant in uh, bearing that pain they must be undergoing. And I, while just meeting them, I was going around different wards. I kept imagining that these are just a dozen of nearly 
20,000 soldiers that had been similarly mutilated and, har and harmed over the past decade or so. Uh, and this is not to mention uh, the nearly 50,000 civilians that have been maimed and tortured. So the summary is that this peace that we currently have, ladies and gentlemen, has come at a great cost. And thus it is, it has proved to be extremely expensive. And therefore, it is our duty uh, as Pakistanis to preserve this peace um, so that our future generations do not have to go through that ordeal that we have just gone through. And inshallah, uh, Pakistan is consolidating in, in many ways. It's always stumbling democracy has also through its stumbling seems to have stabilized. Uh, the economy has stabilized. Although there is of course uh, still a mountain to climb on that front uh, to bring the prosperity to the people. Uh, I'm just delighted uh, that the people and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia who have been a steadfast partner of Pakistan throughout our existence uh, in a new and very interesting and exciting way uh, through Arab news uh, have decided to become part of this emerging, re-emerging rebirth of Pakistan story. So my congratulations uh, to the Pakistan team which is launching uh, this new edition uh, and I commend uh, the editors, uh, the rapidly graying editors, as they say, um, of, of Arab News and its owners uh, for taking this far-sighted decision uh, to become a part of the success Pakistan story. So, congratulations and I wish you every success. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Pakistan Pahindabad.